What is going on, everybody? The Alpha One NDA has finally been lifted, and right now we are staring at the Alpha One character creator screen. But before we break this down, keep in mind that as this video is uploaded, I will be live on twitch.tv slash RichieSH, which ashes of creation all day and part of the day tomorrow. So make sure you go follow and tune in there. Also hit that subscribe button here because there will be daily videos on ashes throughout Alpha 1 at the very least. We're going to show you all the stuff I can possibly show you. But diving into the character creation, right now we are looking at the Kalar humans. Growth, order, and civilization. The Kalar Empire worked on Sanctus, spans nearly an entire entire continent, networked with roads and cities built with the latest technologies, they all have similar designs for Vera, intending to shape her to their own ends. In this, they remain faithful to their roots, even so far from home, the Kalo will rise to any and all challenges. That's where these guys are, this little spew right here on the right hand side of them. Um, with each race, there is three classes to choose from, they're all the same class for each race, there's no lockout per race in this game, so if you want to be a mage and be any of the races, you can be. But anyways, right now we're looking at the cleric, the cleric armor, you see it in the male, you see it in the female. Then we have the mage right there, the female mage, the male mage, and then the tank. We got the male tank and the female tank. The cleric is the healer, the mage is the damage dealer, the tank is obviously the tank, if you guys didn't know that. At least for alpha, and then once we get into later down the road with the 64 class combinations and all that, it can change. But anyways... Looking, this is not the final character customization that you will see in the game, by the way. This is just to give you a preview, give you a little bit of character control when you're making a character in Alpha 1. But yeah, uh, you can see the hair for the male, and it's really well done. You see the hair, like, kind of moves to the side. You can see it better with the longer ones I'll show you in a minute. You can be bald. You got some beards going here. A little goatee, a little more fluffy beard there. Giant beard. But yeah, that right there is the Kalar humans. Moving on to the fum moving on to the female Kalar, we got again same. It just changes the skin color, and then we got the hair. Here's hair one, and then we got hair two, hair three, and bald. But I mean, look at the detail in that hair. Like, the hair is so well done. It's something you don't really see in games that often. It's pretty great. Moving on, we have the Veiloon humans. Trade, law, hardship. The Veiloon were forged in the heat of the desert. And throughout the ages become a blade that bends and does not break. Through the development of a complex web of relationships and the savvy negotiations, the Veiloon grew into one of the wealthiest empires on Sanctus. Sanctus is being the planet they're on before all these people return to Vera, which is the world in Ashes of Creation. Despite having few natural resources to exploit themselves, their environment has taught them what it means to kill or be killed, whether through the beasts of the desert or the snakes in the market square. As you can see, the armor for each race is different. The There is a lot of race-specific armor in this game, which I love. There's also armor that everybody can wear and looks pretty much the same on everyone. But a lot of it, the style will change a little bit depending on the race you play. And it goes the same for all of it. So the mage, the tank, and the cleric all have different armor on the Veiloon than they, than they did the Kalar. Which, honestly, this tank armor right here is probably one of my favorite sets I've seen so far. Going through the head... Again, same thing, a couple different skin colors. Then we got a couple different hairs right there. Do, 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 do. This one right here is probably my favorite. That guy looks so badass right there. And then you be bald. Then you got the beards. These guys are more beardier, so they're cooler. You can also show the helmet if you want. Look at that helmet right there. Pretty cool looking guy. On to the female. Let's hide the helmet again. We got this head right here, and then this head right here, and then this head right here. Females can also be bald, or you can have... Look at that hair waving around. Boom. Unfortunately, the females cannot have beards, at least for the humans. The female dwarves can have beards. Moving on to the Empyrean Elves. Empire, pride, culture, th 
Though not as numerous in population as other races, the Imperium are a monolith of power on Sanctus. Elite military forces coupled with a highly structured and effective government of singular purpose give them that power. The Imperium belief in themselves, their people, and their empire will carry their culture forward into Vera. And as you can see, we got some more elf-like armor for each of the three classes this time around. That cleric armor is also pretty awesome looking. Head, again, changes the skin color a bit. It doesn't really change the face or the head all that much right now. But alpha is alpha. Hair number two. Hair number three. The elves, I like the elves a lot. I didn't like them at first when seeing them in some of the stream gameplay, but they've really grown on me. They're kind of cool. Can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in on the faces. Do, 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 do. On to the female. We got head one, head two, head three. And then you're on hair three right now. Hair two. It's pretty cool looking hair. And hair one. Boom. And moving on to the best race of them all, the Dunir Dwarfs. You can see the cleric armor, and you can see it's very dwarf-like armor in here. It's pretty cool looking. You got the Dunir Mage, and we got the tank. And then for the face, th this one for the face, the head three has face paint on both the male and the female dwarves. The other ones don't have that. It's kind of cool. That it makes dwarves better all of a sudden anyways, even though they already were. But again, that's a pretty cool looking hairstyle. We got hair two. We got hair three, which is this long ponytail type thing. And then the females have their beards as well. Look at that. That is a gorgeous beard that only a true female dwarf should be able to carry on her chin. On to the males. Let's hide the helmet. We have, what is all that? Oh, that's my mouse. Uh, let's see. We got head one. We got head two and head three again with the face paint. And then looking at the hair, we're on hair three right now. This is my go-to hair. Hair two right there. Another good looking hairstyle. Hair one. We got a mohawk. The beard on the dwarves, it's like it clips through the armor, which will change hopefully because alpha, which so makes it hard to see. But that one's kind of cool. I didn't read the description for the dwarves. Stoic tradition craft. Where the peoples of old world saw the mountain range, the Dunir saw a defensible bulwark where riches must be must need be hidden. The Dunir take immense pride in what they craft and what they build. Impregnable fortresses, war hammers that never break, and beautifully cut gems are all in their repertoire. Do not be deceived by their stout stature, their pounding they're pound for pound the strongest warrior the world has ever known. And there you have it. And now we're going to take this dwarf mage right here and we're going to name him. And we are going to jump into the world of Vera right now. And again, if you want to see a lot more, head to Twitch right now. I am live. I am playing through this as much as I can possibly play today. Also, subscribe here. Videos in the morning tomorrow, probably tomorrow evening as well. And every day for the next month through Alpha 1, you will hopefully, for the most part, get daily videos. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Click that thumbs up. Turn on the bell for notifications, and if you're new to Ashes, use the referral link in the description below, and go sign up and make an account where you can sign up on the forums and all of that.